Hello everyone, my name is Jenny and welcome or welcome back to another video. This video is a follow up to my jelly gouache video that I did about 5 months ago. That was my first time using gouache and I actually thought I did a decent job until this video. Just a note before we start, I know nothing about gouache and I am definitely not an expert in painting. With that in mind, let's get into the video. first one I really wanted to do some kind of simplistic replant. I really wanted to do a texture on the background of blocky brush strokes and I do like how it came out despite its flaws. I missed a chunk of recording sorry about that apparently I was too excited to paint and didn't realize my camera wasn't even recording. I really enjoyed adding the blocky layers on the background and I really want to do another one in this fun bold style because it's completely different to what I normally do and I found it really relaxing and fun. So I really love watching other people paint oceans and scenery. It makes me really excited to get practiced and good myself. That's kind of one of my goals at the moment. While I'm painting this next one, I'd like to talk a little bit about the jelly wash. So I'm no expert, but I have been speaking to my friend Amanda. I'll link her channel down below. And she gave me a ton of tips and also gave me explanations why my paint isn't working very well. First off, we considered that maybe the canvas wasn't made for gouache or that maybe it was primed with like acrylic or something but it turns out, I was reading the back of the packaging which I didn't even do at the start that the canvas is 100% cotton and on the back it says for acrylic, oil and gouache Also, the gouache I have is just a bit too cheap and while I suspect that is a big factor in it, I also think it's how I'm using it I think I need to do some research and study on how to use gouache properly and thankfully for me Amanda is helping me a lot with this and I'm super grateful. Also I want to add that a lot of the time I was using the paint wrong, like overworking the paint making my brush go back and forwards instead of just placing the paint down. 
gouache is good for a beginner artist I'm also not a beginner artist and I think I'm expecting far too much out of the paint so there will be a third part in this series and I want to make some really great paintings from it here's hoping so stay tuned to mention when I was recording my voiceover that I'm sorry for how the paints are presented. I wanted to clean them up and make them look nice for the video but I thought it would be more realistic if I left them how they are. I don't know if the orange leaked a little but I can see some orange all around the palette but I do know that the black or the blue completely leaked into one another and they both look black anyway so it's hard to tell unless you actually use it. This was from sitting inside storage. It was on its side which wasn't that clever. It thankfully didn't leak out of its actual sealed lid so that's a plus but I still wouldn't take it travelling with me. Also you can see that some of the paints are dried up and cracked. I did add some water and mix them up but during breaks I had in between painting they would just dry up again. Just thought I'd add this note in here. For the third canvas, I had in mind a typical foggy, twilighty type forest. I made my first mistake by using this yellowish colour for the underpainting, I don't know what I was thinking. And it completely threw off my mood with the painting and it came out, well, I don't know, you'll see. 
is definitely the worst one of the three and I really think this is where my use of the paint flew up on me. There was massive cracking, colouring being picked up everywhere. I was also dry brushing some of it on and it just created a mess. Anyway, it happened and I may just reuse the canvas sometime. If my third video doesn't come out well, I think I will just invest in some better gouache. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.